Okay, people. Okay, everyone. You're probably wondering why I have my Xbox 360 in front of you. Well, it's real simple. Um, as you know, I've always talked about. I've done videos on how you supposed to, how you can get uh, your videos and your pictures and your music on your 360 without having to, you know, uh, use a hard drive or anything like that. Basically, I've showed you how to, you know, use your Windows Media Player by going to Media Sharing under Libraries and click on the Xbox icon that's in there and clicking OK. Well, there's a program that I recently heard about in the past couple months called Tversity. Now, I know some of you may have heard of it, and I didn't really know much about Tversity. I mean, at first, to me, it sounded like just another Windows Media Player cut and deal. Until I went online and I discovered something today that really got to me, that really surprised me. Um, what surprised me was the fact that, you know, I, I don't know well, how I typed it in or something. I just typed in something on YouTube and, you know, the fact that it was blocked in Germany kind of deal, something like that. And, um, and I thought to myself, well, YouTube's come to the PSD and the Wii, when is it going to come to the Xbox? You know, this is like, just as you see here, just like the Netflix has. Let's, let's go to Netflix if I can. Actually, i got to sign in first. i got to sign in first. But um, I've always wondered why, when, why and when is it going to come to the Xbox? And the truth is, it has not yet come to the Xbox except through Tversity. That's right, Tversity has it. Well, let me uh, let me explain. You see, this is what I want to see one of these days. I want to see here in this vid here in the video market section. I want to see YouTube like right there, like where the Art Carly stars are. I want to see it right there. But instead, I found out today, like I said, that um, Tversity does something that. Uh, the Windows Media Player can't do, and, it, and that is the fact that it allows you to watch YouTube videos on your uh, on your computer. Basically, it's like this. See right there, this is Tversity on PC One. Now, PC One is the computer in the uh, rec room. So, um, and I recently, just recently, uh, put it right here. I just recently put t TV Tversity onto uh, my other computer, my main computer here in my room. And the reason I did that is because of the fact that... The reason I did that is because the computer in the rec room likes to fall asleep at times. You know, if you're not using it for a while, it goes... It goes... You know, it kind of falls asleep. But anyway, I decided to do it this way, and it looks pretty cool from what I understand. Uh, from what I've seen, this looks pretty cool because when you click when you click on diversity right here, you have all these. You got your all file, you got your all file folder, you got your dat date added folder, your folders, your internet folder, your movies folders, your R R S S and podcast folder, you got your tags folder, and you got your YouTube folder. That's right, it says YouTube right there. And what you do is you click on it. And even though it shows 15 right now, I guess that's the limit or something. This is my 15 videos on my first page. So I guess that's the only limitation. You only get like 15 videos or something. But then again, when you go to RSS and podcast, it's also there. YouTube videos from BW Roses, and, which is my account, and... And then, of course, you could do your uploads from other people you've subscribed to. Like, this is my backup channel right here, my BW Roses 98 channel. And again, it only does 15. So that's, that's not too good, but it's okay. And then you got your subscriptions, and it only does 15. That's one thing I've noticed. I think it's a limitation of 15 that you can only do with the Xbox. That's why, that's why I'm hoping YouTube does come to Xbox very, very soon. Then you can do your favorites. And then you have all your favorites right here, and all in folders, so.
Like right here, we have the the fluffy dogs. You remember the fluffy dogs? This is all three videos, I think. Yeah, this is all three videos, I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah, but look. That's the Fluffy Dogs right there. It should be popping up any time now. Yeah, it's Fluffy Dogs. There is the Fluffy Dogs film. Now let's see what this one is. It might be the continuation, I don't know. Because it's all in folders. You know, which is new to me. It's new to me to have this on here, but, you know... Okay, so this compute, connection computer was lost. Hopefully it didn't go to sleep already, but anyway, that's what you, that, that's one of the benefits about this. You can actually have all this on there. Now, the Internet folder, I'm not sure about. I guess that's for, like, daily motion and all that. The folders and the videos, look at this. This is everything, man. This is everything video-wise. Um, I think this is one of my videos that I downloaded or made. Not sure. If it says computer lost, don't be surprised. Oh, I can't play this content because it's not supported. Okay, that's cool. But anyway, I'm just showing you what this is do this does, especially if you have a YouTube account. And I think the only limitation the only limitation that you have here is the fact that you can't you only have fifteen videos pop up. And that's it. Now here's my real player downloads. These are all just like you know, basically the same things that I have well, the fifty seven on here, which is weird. So I guess it's still working the thing there on YouTube, but this is weird, it's got fifty seven on here. Which is, uh, like I said, kind of weird, seeing as though I should have more on YouTube. Well, let's see what this does. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh, wait, it's loading. It's loading. I guess it takes a while for the videos from Blimp TV to load. Or the flashes from Blimp TV to load. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a pretty good um, thing to have. Let's just go off of that for a second. But yeah, it is loading, so... It is a pretty cool thing to have, I guess, now. And there's the date added. Shows you when things were added, I guess. I don't know. So, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what Tiversity is doing, does on the computer. Hopefully... And the reason, like I said, I've added it onto this one the reason I've added it here is so that I can um, have access to it here. So, you know, just in case my video, you know, kind of dies out or something like that. I don't know. But here's what they're talking about before I go, because I'm running out of time here. It's kind of like, um, it's like, it's it's like a Windows, it's like Windows Media Player. And what you do, like say, is you go to the media sharing where the library is, it automatically de detects playback. And then you click Start Sharing. And then what it does...
is it starts to show. And then what you do is you go here to library. It's already sharing your pictures and video. Then you add in the stuff you want, like BW Rosis 98. You want to go to user uploads, and then you press submit. And you can do this also for like your own. Oh, that was weird. But anyway, you can add up to whatever you want on here. So I thought I'd just show you what it is and uh, suggest you get it yourself, and I'll talk to you.